everyone. Welcome to Shoots and Ladders, a weekly podcast about all things wrestling from WWE to other promotions around the world. I'm Justin from Dirty Laundry, and that's the champ, Nick. Sup, sup. And we have a special guest today. It's our friend Rob. Yay. 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 Yes. Thanks. We're legit. <laughs> <laughs> so we have special guests. Um, Joe <clears throat> can't be here tonight. Uh, other obligations happened and timing schedules and weird work bullshit happened, so. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's us three tonight. So pretty much what we're going to do, like we do every week, we're going to run down Raw, run down SmackDown, and then run down the wrestling news from around the world, like I said before. So anyway, Nick, you want to start? Yeah, I'll start off with Raw. Um, Rob, reason why they call me champ is because I'm the WWE champ. We play like a bunch of WWE games, and I win every single time. That sounds yeah, great. Yeah, because he's the only one who's ever played like 2K ever. <laughs> so. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> At every single victory, not one of them is coming off the pedigree, only cheeky roll-up pins. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> really true. Even in a hell in a cell. <laughs> and the ladder match that we spent, that oh we're not uploading. God, we one. literally spent... I'm going to say a half an hour just taking turns, climbing the ladder, and getting hit off. It, just, it was a nonstop cycle. So it was so bad. So it was so bad. Okay, so I'm going to take Raw. This Raw was in Scotland, which is weird because it was recorded and not live. So all, like funny shit could happen when it's like that. Stephanie McMahon kicks off the show. And funny shit did happen because funny of Funny shit, yeah, did happen. That we'll talk about. But Stephanie McMahon kicks off the show with a bunch of the Team Raw, whatever, Team Raw was in the ring. And something that surprised me, that it was KO, it was Jericho, Roman Reigns, and it was Braun Strowman. And that is probably the biggest push you can get. Just being in the ring with those three guys is huge for him. It that just put him on a total another level, like this. Like, it's so easy just to put people on another level when you are when you could just put them in the ring, book mm-hmm. them right. So I think it's really good that Strowman was in there. Yeah, I think, and he looked good with all of them, too. Yeah, he looked good, really good. He actually looked like a, an elite superstar. Yeah, like a beast. Yeah, so there's only four of them in the ring, and they announced Rollins as the fifth. Wow, shocker. That was good. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> you got us. No one saw that coming. Yeah, yeah. So um, Rollins came out, and Stephanie booked a fatal five-way. Was it? Is it called a fatal five? Yeah. That's what she that's called. That's what she called. That's what she called. I don't know what you actually call it. But yeah, yeah. So she was like, the... "You guys are gonna be in a fatal five way." Yeah. Can yeah. I ask <laughs> a question real quick? Is yeah. she a heel or a face? See, you can't tell anymore. Like she's been weird. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like it. The only reason why is because they don't know what they're doing with Triple H yet. They so should know they're doing Triple H. He should come back for Mania and fight Rollins. He's gonna fight Rollins. Yeah. I I personally think that he should have at least followed up. With maybe right. just a promo, right? Something yeah, at least <laughs> he could have done what The Rock does and just showed up via satellite. Yeah, even. Right? like, yeah. like a via satellite would have been nice. Like, yeah, fuck you, Rollins, or fuck you, yeah, Reigns. something. Like, yeah, something. But, he kind of you know. just came out, pedigreed Rollins, yeah. and threw Kevin Owens on top of him. Yeah. Was like, okay, I'm out. And goodbye. then that's like, it. And he hasn't. No one said anything about it. And Vince is like, perfect, <laughs> <laughs> perfect. That's it. Yeah. So she booked that fatal five way, and that was it. Next match was Sin Cara and Rich Swan. Versus Brian Kendrick and Noam Dar. And the, I, the Brian, Brian Kendrick. Kendrick. Yes, sir. So, <laughs> I think that this match was... The match was not bad in itself. But the reason why I enjoyed this match so much is because Noam Dar is from Scotland. And he got a huge pop. Huge. And that was the only reason why this match was exciting. Because the crowd was really into it. Like, this guy was like seemed like a huge superstar. So, Brian Kendrick uh, fucked over Noam Dar. And turned on him, so it, like, led them to lose. And solidifies him as a heel some more. Yeah, it's a good heel move. And it was perfect because that gave Noam Dar a big moment to do his finisher on Brian Kendrick and got the crowd into it and got the crowd going nuts. <clears throat> I like that because this now opens up either Rich Swan or Noam Dar to go for the title. Also with TJ Perkins. Like, this, it just, like, actually gives stuff in. It's, it's doing what we said they it's should doing be doing. It's doing what we said. So week. now there's three people in the mix. And if you add one more person, that's a ladder match. And that's what we need. We don't need these yep. six-man tags every, every fucking week. week. It's insane. This is a format. This is a regular tag. but doesn't matter. It still means nothing. This opens up what we actually want, which is a five-man ladder match or a five-man TLC <clears> match or something for the title, something very interesting and not repetitive stuff that we see every week. that's what Cruiserweights are supposed to be. It's supposed to be interesting. Exactly. So, also another point I want to point out, another point I want to point out, yeah, in this match was uh, Rich Swan <laughs> did some RVD rolling thunder. <laughs> yeah. It was a rolling... I saw that. It was a rolling five-star fro- frog splash and it was great. It brought back some nice RVD memories. Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay. Hi. Yeah, you got right? mad height off of that. <laughs> right? I don't know Yo, how. <laughs> crazy. I love the rolling thunder. Yeah. But. Next thing was something that I think we all like and I think, I don't know if you like the club, Rob. Do you like the club? I like them more with 
with AJ Styles, I feel like breaking them up was kind of like yeah, kind of kind of like I understand why, but yeah, you can't. It have shouldn't that much. have. Like they it shouldn't, shouldn't have. It's like I don't know. I said last week I would not talk talk about the club until they won a match. Okay, <laughs> and, and they won a match. <laughs> and we're talking about the club today with the Magic Killer as the New Day dressed up in kilts. Finally, first of all, Great. that New Day segment. Fucking fantastic! Oh, it yeah, was yeah. hilarious. Fantastic! It was hilarious. My girlfriend was cooking hilarious. me. Uh, my girlfriend was cooking me chicken and rice before, and I did a, a rerun of, of Raw, and she actually watched it. And <clears throat> she's like, when they were quoting Braveheart, she turns around, she goes, "Are they quoting Braveheart?" I was like, "Babe, look, <laughs> look they're wearing yeah. these paint. They're look dressed like William Wallace. This is yeah, the greatest day great. ever." I love. Oh my god! I and love that was that. such a good move from them. WWE because. New Day is still over no matter what, but they put New Day over with the Braveheart mm-hmm. stuff in Scotland. And then they and made the club, lose. Yeah, and they made them lose, and the club won. Mm-hmm. Makes the club look strong. Everybody loves New Day. Yes. Win-win. 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 Win-win situation here, and then make the club win the fucking titles, yeah. please. No more. So, right now, we're two for two with good booking here. Yeah. <laughs> that is scary. Look at that good booking. You know, it's I... scary. And it's the first couple <laughs> hours of Raw here, so. So, interesting first couple hours, entertaining first couple hours. Thank God. No, not the first hour yet, thank God. We really, really needed because that. Because if Raw started off... It was off like in like, the first like half hour. Yeah, yeah it was... Yeah, yeah. yeah for half hour. Because hour, if Raw was shitty, minutes. I was going to be done. <laughs> yeah, I was going to be so pissed. I was yeah, be we said that every week. Yeah, I just did <laughs> we it all every single week. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not watching this shit anymore. I'm not watching it anymore. And then yeah, next yeah, okay, week, we I'm got like, got fuck, Raw's So, next was like a small promo between Enzo, More, Big Cass, and Shazaro. That's my way. Which that's is my, cool. That's my tag team name for them, Shazaro. Shizaro. See, I like Enzo yeah. and Cass being booked in mid-card tag matches because that's where they belong, and they're fucking great. Yeah, they don't need the so, belts. They're perfect here. Yeah, because they're so over, and they don't need to be main eventing, because to me, they're not good enough to main event. Not yet. I have wrestling-wise. Not yet. Cass might be, Enzo's not. Yes. I don't know what, what they're doing with Cass because they built him up as a singles competitor, and now he's just... Enzo, Cass should be a singles just, competitor, and Enzo should just be his manager. Yeah. That's literally all it should be. It's right. really, it's not complicated anymore. Yeah. The tag matches are fine, you can do that. Yeah. But, like, that's just what it has so to be. So, the only thing I got out of this is that there might be a possible mega tag team <coughs> rumble thing going on. Not sure, confused about it, but we'll see. I hope not. Small, yeah, small promo don't really matter. It's too much, it's too much tag teams. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting sick of it now. Now? I really am. Nobody's gonna agree with me here, but I don't give a shit. I can't wait to not agree with you. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> now, the next match was the final spot in the Raw Tag Team Survivor Series match. Between the Shining Stars and the Golden Truth. Shining Stars win. Love it. Love it. I don't disagree with you. Okay, good. I don't disagree with you. Do you I, for some Rob, reason. do you agree? <clears throat> and I hate the Shining Stars a lot. But I don't disagree with you. I'll I you can't disagree for the simple fact that, like, dude, the Golden Truth probably shouldn't even be a tag team. They shouldn't. Yeah. Both of them should probably retire. Yeah, both should retire. Yeah, they're both, they're both like, Far past their heyday. Yes, and you're I don't know trying if to push. Never had a heyday. <laughs> he had. Well, he had a prime. He had. He a prime. He it just wasn't the WWE. I'm telling. No. Yeah, he was really good. Was he in WCW? I don't know what he was. He in. is really good. He wrestled for basically like every promotion. Yeah, every promotion. He is. Yeah. A, he is got, really good, and he's actually great on the mic too. But it's just his, his characters yeah, are just so dumb. Yeah, it's. it's dumb. Uh, I mean. As long as he's not searching for Pokemon anymore, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Thank God. sure. Thank God. It, he's a crowd pleaser. Everyone loves our truth. But, as much but that's as his job. Like, you need guys like that like, oh, 100%. to keep the show going. Like, yeah. You need those fillers. Like mm-hmm. Those dudes are for the kids. Exactly. Like, Especially and for without, without the kids, it's some movie. adults don't watch. Yeah, you yeah, know exactly. what I mean? There are parents that only watch wrestling to monitor what their kids yeah, are watching. Exactly. Guess what? That's ratings. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know right. what I mean? So you're absolutely right. The reason why I like this so much is because can you guys name one other heel tag team? Besides the club on Raw, no. Okay, thank you. So you're pushing. Well, this... New Day, they're not heel. They're not no, face. Though. They're the face of the no, tag. No, 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 they <laughs> are, but they don't act like faces. Yeah, they act. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, sure. I'm saying but, they are heels, but they're just over. Yeah, they were they're heels. Like and they got no, over no, no, no. Over. They they face turned quite some time ago. They yeah, were heels, they and they were turned. great yeah. heels. They were the best they were heels. The best oh, heels. No, I no. wish it never would have changed, but I don't know. I have I have like a serious like. 
love Mark for hard yeah. on for for heels. Like, yeah. no, me too. It's no, I'd rather the, see the everybody. I don't know. I I'd rather see Hennig everybody. Hennig Come on. No, is they come out. They yeah, represent right. every yeah, sports right, team right, in every right, in every right. city yeah, they're yeah. in. That's number one. They were wearing freaking kilts in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, that's that is babyface one hundred and one. Please the home crowd. I just he they just do heel things like in matches they cheat like. Oh yeah, but it's but but a lot of faces do that. They a lot of faces will. That's their style. Cast said that too. You're right. Right. Yeah. When a when a when a heel when when a face cheats, it's not cheating. It's okay when yeah, a face yeah, does that's it. True. Exactly. It's yeah. okay when a face does it. When a heel cheats, it's the end of yeah. the world. I'm watching your cat literally fuck everything <laughs> up right now. Can you stop? <laughs> Whatever. You just yeah, just do your. Just, oh oh oh. Okay. All right, that's it. Out of here. There you go. Can I get back to that's why a good, I like, like seven thousand dollars worth of equipment right there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the reason why I like this so much is because the shining stars could actually be heels because I hate them. You I hate fucking them? hate them. Yeah. You hate them. I hate them. Yes, but I don't hate them. Suck. I don't hate them because they're doing their job to make me hate them. I hate them because they're not good. Exactly. I hate them because they've been rebranded ten times. Right. I hate them because they're just right. they're put there for. No I reason. don't know what reason. And like I really don't understand what reason. Shares. Yes. And I hate yeah, them. they're, they're giving because it's a timeshare. That's share what they sure. need. That's what the they thing need. Is, no, but Rob's right though. They hate we. We all hate them because they suck. There are people. Yes. You, there are people that you're made to hate. Like yeah. you're made to hate guys. Like. I don't even want to Rusev. say well, it. Because, what? Rusev. Right. Rusev. You're made to hate guys like Rusev. And, you're supposed to hate and you know. AJ you know what's funny? You know what's funny? I mean, yeah, but come on. Yeah. Well, I don't know how you take guys like. People do. You take guys like, um... Like true heels, <clears throat> like The Miz. <clears throat> I fucking I love, love The Miz. I, love I absolutely love The Miz. Love the Miz. I, love the I love everything that he does. I I don't even really agree with the fact that he, like, that he wrestles like he's afraid to be hit. Yeah. Like, I kind of see it, but I don't want to agree with it. Yeah. You know, like, I... I love his character. That's a guy. I, I think he's the way I love him, man. But I, I, I see what you're saying that we hate them. But let's move on because we're talking about the fucking shining stars. I fucking hate the shining stars. But they're <laughs> they're they're getting a push towards heelism. And yeah, it's good. Great. They but just gotta stop the selling reasons. time shares. for the wrong reasons. <clears throat> because there's no depth. I I was watching something. I forgot who said it. When is fucking Goldust gonna just ditch our truth if this storyline is still going? Our truth has fucked Goldust over yeah. so many times Gold, in these past couple whatever, months. Sure. He's literally just nonstop just We're fucking. Spending way over. too much time right, on this. Yeah, you're right. But you're right. the reason why I wanted to get here is because the raw tag team depth is terrible. Horrible. It's really bad. Besides end zone cast, like there's three good tag teams. Yeah, three. And then it's like. Wait, I got a I got a heel tag team for you. Go on Raw. <clears throat> the Chris and Kevin show. Yeah, but they're not they're not a tag team. They are they a tag team. Are a tag oh, team, they are a tag team. But they're not in a tag team it. division. Yeah, they act like a tag team. They but they well, no, that's that's not even necessarily true. Two or three weeks ago, they were in a match that would they have were. qualified them for the tag team titles. Yeah, that yeah, true. That is true. Which they should have won because I double think. gold on Owens and <laughs> any gold on Jericho, <laughs> Jericho is right, that yeah. right. gold. You're right. It is absolute absolutely absolutely right. But since it's the Survivor Series thing, they wouldn't put them there. Because right. It's too risky, obviously. So right, that and they would have to be yeah. in two matches. So that's the depth I was talking about. Next thing, but they are technically yeah a tag team, yeah. and if not a tag team, just the absolute best carriers team. of Monday Night Raw. Right, exactly. Yeah. So I still stand by my fact that Chris Jericho is the best superstar in the company. Oh wait, can we take a time out here? Thank you. Can High we five. I am gonna out? get a Chris Jericho tattoo. <laughs> can, we, can we get a time out? You guys know it's Chris Jericho's birthday today. Isn't happy really? birthday, Chris! Uh, I did know, know that. Y2J, happy motherfucking happy birthday. He shares a birthday with three of my friends. 46 years old. 46 years old, doing it better than 96% of the company. Except yes. AJ Styles. Yes. He's <laughs> literally, literally the only, yeah. AJ Styles is the only one doing it. If not, like, they're they're. He dying. is a guaranteed 100% accurate and over promo four times a show. Every week. Every He's single great. week, no matter what. A minimum what. of four times. I Chris Jericho, in my opinion, I get killed for this all the time. I don't know All the time. Why. All the time. Chris Jericho, in my opinion, is a top three wrestler of all, of time. all time. I don't Definitely. know why you would get killed for that. It's People, so true. He's in my top you three. You know why? Because he's not The Rock, Stone Cold, or Shawn Michaels. Exactly. And that murders my yes. mentality. But that yes. has nothing to do that with that. That kills anything. my mentality. I don't he's understand. He's been doing it longer for all three of them. Not Shawn, The Rock, and Stone Cold combined, first of all. Yep. Because yeah, definitely, and he's better in ring than both of them, and yeah, hundred percent better. He's in a ring. better heel than both of them. Stone also Cold was true. incapable of being a heel. Yeah, but the Rock but had the, a good heel. The Rock had a good heel run, but dude, Chris Jericho is Rock the is epitome of heel. Uh, yeah. He is the second coming of Ric Flair, in my opinion. He is, and 100%. Ric Flair invented the heel. Yeah, 
I think that Chris Jericho is easily in my top three. That's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, this well, and right great. now, to be honest with you, I think yeah. Chris Jericho is having the best run of his life right now. Right now is his, his prime. He's 46 years old and it's still crazy. in his prime. Yeah. He doesn't need a title to be in his prime. He doesn't need a title to steal a show every week. But I will say that I, I, I love Kevin Owens, and I love Kevin Owens as a champion. Mm-hmm. But I cannot wait for the day. I can when they turn wait, don't wait say it. Day. We're coming to that. Okay. We're coming to I'll that. I'll hold it, Ben. Yeah, I'm sure it. you are coming to that. We're coming to that. So, next thing that got announced, favorite thing of the night, I think, Sami Zayn versus Rusev. Uh, yes, that is Perfect. my favorite thing of the night. Thank you. <clears throat> are we... No, besides this Shining Stars Golden Truth, it wasn't bad. The booking's been solid. The this execution, week, yes. It hasn't... There hasn't been a bad book match yet. Execution, eh, whatever. Booking, great. Actually, I think on the show there wasn't a bad book match. I knew that Sami Zayn was going to be the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship the second that he issued that open right. that open challenge. Right. I was like, it's got to be Zayn. And if it's there. not Zayn, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, we're all yeah. there. And we'll talk about that later because it hasn't come up yet, but they were just announced it at this point. Yeah. So they announced Sami Zayn versus Rusev. The winner gets to versus Ziggler at Survivor Series for the IC title. Perfect. Great booking. Next was... Oh, the Raw... What is she? She's in your she's bag. She's in your backpack. <laughs> Whatever, bro. I don't yeah. know. She's going to fucking she's burn. She's really the star of the show. There's a no, cat no, in the bag. So now no, no, no. it was the Raw Survivor Series women team coming out. It was Charlotte, <coughs> Bailey, Sasha, Nia Jax, and Dana Brooke. No! Wrong! <laughs> Alicia Fox. What? Hype. Hype. When Hype. I Hype. heard Alicia so Fox's music hit, what and I heard them announce her. I was like, "Why? And what has she done to deserve?" And not Dana. Any but I'm of hyped that. because I fucking hate Dana Brooke. Yeah, and not the reason why. You I hate Dana Brooke Dana because Brooke. she's doing her job. No. Right. Yes. I think Dana Brooke. Yes. Sucks. What? I, I think I think, she's terrible, think Dana but Brooke she sucks. is a decent heel because I hate her so much. No, her personality, like her her mic skills are fine. Her in ring. I think bad. her in ring is but no. I don't think it's eh. I think it's horrible. It's way better than Alicia Fox. I don't think so. Dana Brooke is a botch fest. That's all she is. She's a botch fest. Alicia Fox also. Awful. I'm hyped about it. I don't know. I love right, it. If you're hyped, I'm not. When I, I feel heard, like they only Dana did Br- that to give like the leftover yeah. veteran talent like yeah. a, a, spot. a yeah. spot. And, and I mean, I understand. I understand, but I don't. Yeah, but I yeah. hate Dana Brooke, so I don't care. It could have been fucking Eugene's sister, and yeah. I would have been hype about it. This just shows like, I don't even again care. that Raw is. Like putting all their emphasis on the tight, like the big title, just this one big title, and the U- United States title is really big. <clears throat> yeah. But that's where all their depth is. They have no tag team depth. They have no women's depth besides like, Charlotte, Charlotte, Bailey, okay, and Sasha, okay. And they don't do anything with Bailey. And I'm getting wait, tired of Sasha. Wait, they do do something with Bailey. No, Honestly, they I don't think, do anything I with the tag Bailey. Teams, real quick, I think that if they turned. Two of their really over tag teams heel, which is possible because it gets it used to get done all, all the, time. the time. Enzo and Big Cass, they dude. can't because they sell too much merch. Yeah, it doesn't do matter, dude. Problem. It doesn't it will matter. Be, they will, dude. When, Best thing you gotta understand when when a tag team or even a superstar in general is over, they're over heel yeah. or face, dude. Prime example. CM Punk, the yeah, cursed so name. True. I know. Uh, so I know. Bad. Nobody wants to talk about CM Punk. Real quick, but can I get a fuck CM, fuck CM Punk, Punk in here? Yeah, Thank I you. I, I won't. Know. Have you heard? I, I, I saw your tweet. Okay. Fuck. I, I, I won't. I, I personally won't. Did you hear what happened, though? What do you mean? What CM Punk? With your tweet. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you saw I saw. I saw, I saw on your Twitter, yeah. yeah. Then he blocked me. Yeah. yeah I, I scumbag. Scumbag, yeah. I, I understand. I personally I personally won't. Yes? I can't. You can't. You're right. I can't. I, I, we said to him, we were like, listen, CM Punk's in the fucking building right now. We're like, we go meet him. And he was like, there's a chance here that he could ruin everything. I, I literally said to Nick, I was yeah, like, Nick, you're, there's a you're, high you were better we leaving were playing, well enough We were yeah. playing with fire. Yeah. Because it's true. If no, I'm it's not, true. I've, I've, had my, I've had my heart ripped out by heroes before, too. Believe yes, me. Yes. It's, it's not fun. Literally, so, I, didn't, I tried not to act like it because I called <clears> it was going to happen, but my heart was ripped out. Yeah, heart yeah. was ripped out. But yeah. it would have been better if we didn't say anything. Leave well enough alone. also... If you're in a fucking building and With someone, somebody you love, someone yeah, yeah, dude, you. believe me, yeah, yeah, your sure. curiosity will get the best yes. of you a hundred yes. times so out of a hundred. I don't regret you know doing it. Yeah. I, guess, I don't regret doing it. Because I'm like, fuck fault, CM Punk over and over. But theory's proven that he yeah, is a dick. fucking dick. I, you love him because he hasn't done anything to you yet. I mean, you know? 
yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Maybe. trust me, if he didn't do that, I would still be like, CM Punk, can't wait till you come come back or something. No, I, I do, love, I do Dude, love CM Punk. Don't even. Punk, if he came back, you would shit. No, I'd be, I don't. I'd yes, be, you no, would. No, no, no. Yes, you would. Hyped. As a wrestling fan, would, personal yeah. feelings aside, you would shit. I would, yeah. You would shit. I know, I'd be super hyped. Shit. Right. But I would If his music time. ever hit, that would be like when Bret Hart's music hit. Yeah. Maybe not as big, because he's he's not Bret Hart. Yeah, exactly. He did carry the company... At for the time where, time, yeah, yeah for, he for at a bad, and he bad started times, everything that we love now. At bad times, yeah. he did. and he started everything that we love now. Yes, he started this just, quote unquote new era of. Yeah, I things. wish this his attitude was different because he, in the long run, fucked himself, and no nobody else fucked him. Vincent fucked him. He fucked himself. Like if you're in this wrestling business, you've been in the indies, dude. You know how people book you. Like you know, yeah. Just it's because true. you're not getting the royal treatment at one time. You're in. You came to this company. No. It was more. I, I feel like from his perspective, it was more. It was more about how, how they ended his, like historic title run. Like yeah, it it, was it, it, it really kind of was bullshit. Like no, I, I mean, bullshit. don't get me wrong. I fucking love The Rock. Yeah. But, but you don't drop a title to those who are part timer playing. You don't simple. never, never, I, dude. He's horrible. not even a part timer. He's a he, he's a he's retired a return every now and again yeah. if he feels like yeah. it. Yeah. That's he's a movie. Timer. He's a celebrity guest yeah. at this point. And there was literally no reason for it too. It's not like he broke a record. It's not like he did anything. Like he literally right. just won the title. And then they bring him out of WrestleMania to break the rest record of fastest victory. And like, dude, yeah, come on, like, so dumb. Titles are meant for longevity. Yes. Not for part timers. Right. You, know, you need a title to build it up, make it prestigious. Exactly. You know. I'm exactly. Sure and I stuff. feel the same way about main events. And honestly, I gotta be. A, I gotta be honest. If Goldberg and and Lesnar main events Survivor Series, that's gonna be a shit show. I'm bummed. I'm bummed. Yeah. I'm bummed immediately. I don't want that. It's you know what that should be a mid. But that's the that's different. the only way they book the Lesnar, man. Thing. That's the only way they'll book him. Only way. That's the only way they book that's him. And up. the match is gonna be botched as hell. It's going to be a terrible match. Dude, you got be... two guys. I mean... It's going to be physical, though, which I do like. Only because I never really liked physical oh, it's be matches strong. until it was Lesnar Reigns. At that was 31. a great match. It was a great match. You can't even say it was a bad match. I fucking hate really Rob Lesnar. I, I, I hate <laughs> a lot of people. It was really I, I just don't... I don't get. I don't get why Brock Lesnar is still being booked as a WWE Nobody superstar. Does. It's Nobody just does. like I, I know. I get it. I understand. It's yeah. literally just for money. It's a free show. Literally nothing else. Uh, but I'm. I don't tune into wrestling to watch one guy who comes back every now and again do one move a hundred exactly. times a match. Yeah. I don't stupid. watch wrestling for yeah. that reason. It's stupid. You watch I, wrestling I, for the art. I love. Playing I games. watch wrestling for the wrestling. Yeah. yeah, me too. I watch. The, like, the business, the art, like everything. Some right. Coke right. We're getting so... <laughs> yeah, art yeah, no, I know, we just got really <laughs> sidetracked. We're yeah, kind of like off on that arrow right yeah, now. It's alright, it's alright. There are certain things that need to be said. Listen, yes, rants, yeah. rants have <laughs> to rants happen good, occasionally. Yeah. Rants are perfect. Okay, let's go... I feel like we haven't ranted yet on this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is, so, what is this? Five glad to be a part of the first one. Yeah, definitely a rant. Nice. Alright, so... I got a lot to talk about tonight. Just saying that the Raw Smackdown... Raw Raw Women's... Team has no depth, whatever. So they Charlotte's booked... best heel of all time one. Yes, definitely. It's not well, her dad's track. probably the best yes. heel of all time. <laughs> Let's not get sidetracked yeah. here. <laughs> Bailey, Sasha, and <clears throat> Alicia versus Charlotte, Dana, and Nia Jax. You were saying they do nothing with Bailey. Bailey pinned Charlotte. Boom. Yeah, I know. Mind blown. Perfect. Great. Still, Bailey will still do nothing with her. Still do nothing. But why? How does she pin Charlotte, who is a mega superstar, the best women woman in the company right now? And Bailey got dropped out two weeks in a row. To Naya and to Dana. Yeah. Like Fuck what? Dana, how, how does how does this happen? This is just, this is showing. I hate this it. is the first bad book thing. It's good in the long run. It's good because we like it, but you're right. It is bad book. Badly book. That's it. That was the only. I think yeah, the only wrong thing. That Actually, happened. I still don't agree with this fatal five way thing. But I just never said that because it's not that big fatal five way. The entire storyline with them of Team Raw. Oh. Slash Team SmackDown. We'll get into that, but I no, think it's no. all bullshit. All right. Do we get sidetracked, man? We're no, we're not. I, we're, we're coming up to that. <laughs> yeah, we're coming up to it. Next, my favorite part of the night: Sami Zayn versus Rusev. Awesome, great. Awesome match too. Great match because Sami Zayn is a perfect performer, and so is Rusev. Rusev, like, they're fucking great. Their styles clashed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> their styles clashed really well together, and it was weird because Sami Zayn works well with anyone. And I heard that on different podcasts that Sami Zayn is a perfectionist, mm-hmm. and they had a perfect match. They had a really, perfect, really good perfect. match. Yeah. And I love Rusev, man. He's, he's what, great. like, because he's just so physical and he's fucking right. huge. Do you know what I love about Rusev? Say it. I love that 
he personally was able to get the crowd to not hate Roman Reigns single handedly. Yeah. All it took it's to put to Roman that. Reigns over was get a guy that from a country. Hates. No, no, not even that. Not even that. It started with it started with with Rusev coming out during the Olympics and literally shitting on America. Yeah, I should know. That. And yeah, and know that. and then Roman Reigns' music hit. Yeah. And he was like the American hero. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and for the first time in Christ knows how long, people were over. People went nuts yeah. for yeah. him. Mm-hmm. People loved that it. That pop was huge that night. Actually. Huge. I, I was in that pop. But I all was it like, took was go. was for a Bulgarian quote yeah, Russian. Yeah, 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 yeah. At a time where Americans are like beefing with Russia. Yeah. That's to come out way. and yeah. shit on America. Yeah. That's what it took to put Reigns over. Yeah. Exactly. And now he comes out as the U.S. champion. And what happens? Right. Exactly. Yeah. He's getting heat again. I know. He's getting heat again. This guy, I'm telling you, I've hated him for so long, but this guy is greatness. I'm he's t- phenomenal in the ring. This guy's great. Keep the microphone as far away from his hands yeah, as you possibly fucking he's can. He's getting better, yeah. but this guy He's a great performer. Great. You can't oh, hate on that. Performer. He's a great oh, in-ring he's wrestler, he's a great performer, and he's a solid worker. And I like his moveset. A lot of people don't. I like it. I, I don't like perfect I don't like him. I don't like seeing five Superman punches. Don't like Superman punches. That could be that could See, I would like the Superman punches. He has a Simone style. He has a Simone style. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. It's cool. This guy's great though. Roman Reigns is great. But I will say that last week he had a great promo. Yes, he does good. He does do all right sometimes. You just whatever. It's it's Roman Reigns. He's it's good, hard he's to Roman not. Right now. It's hard to. It's hard to like someone that's so hated. It's hard to like someone that's so hated. But that's what like look at Cena. He's fifty fifty. He's one of the most ener- like this guy's been coming out for fourteen. I still don't years. know how you hate John Cena. I'm just saying. I don't know. Do you I don't hate John Cena? I will give you my take on John Cena real quick because I don't want to oh, rant on John let, Cena. Let, let, can we talk about that during SmackDown? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll save John Cena. We'll save it for SmackDown. Okay. John Cena is going to be... Is, he wasn't on SmackDown, was he? No. Nah. All right, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. We'll save him for John Cena. No John Cena signing on SmackDown. So the thing I don't like about this, obviously Sami Zayn had to go <laughs> over, and obviously it had to be with Rusev because nothing would have been... It, it wouldn't have yeah, clashed, yeah, you know? Rusev has been jobbed out two weeks in a row now. He doesn't deserve he it. He didn't. He was jobbed out to Goldberg. That's a job. That was a job. Yes. And Sami Zayn, if you're losing <sighs> to Sami Zayn. Yes and no. I'm, go- I'm going they to. They sent him I'm... as a chicken to to get Jack Hammer. Yeah, but he didn't get. Goldberg. Yeah, but no, no, that's true. But you just said it. What? By fucking Goldberg. Right. By Goldberg. Right. By yes. Goldberg. But still. I'm not a huge Goldberg fan. I personally don't think the guy could wrestle f- to save his life. No. He couldn't in his prime, and I'm not looking forward to no. seeing it at, no. at his age now. No. But. But he's Goldberg. But he's, but he's Goldberg. Goldberg. Yes. Right. And it comes out. You got sent out to the ring to be jackhammered right. by Goldberg. Yeah. Rusev himself probably marked out when that happened. He probably did. Imagine being a wrestler. And being the first person to be jackhammered in 12 fucking years. Yeah, that is crazy. Imagine yeah. that. Yeah, I guess it's it is a good. job. Yeah, but well, by is it an embarrassing job? job? Is it embar- there, there's, there's jobbing out to Braun Strowman. Yeah. And there's jobbing yeah. out to it's, Goldberg. It's definitely yeah. a that is level. Mm-hmm. Definitely a different level. There is, but still, yeah, that's not a thing that you'd be like, oh, Rusev's getting a little push. Like, you know? That's just something that... You put like, Rusev... I guess you put anybody on the same anything. screen as somebody who... Like, when The Rock came back, who was the first person to take the first rock bottom? Uh, who was it? Somebody came out and interrupted him. I'm trying to remember. I don't, I don't actually remember. I don't remember. But either. somebody came out and interrupted him, and it was like... Well, I don't remember either. I'm going yeah, blank. I don't know. It was the end of the world. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't... I'm pretty sure it wasn't a jobber. It yeah. was somebody yeah. who. Oh, it was definitely not a jobber. It was somebody who deserved right. to be on the same screen I guess as they the They didn't have yeah. a good person to put there, like because if you put someone stupid here, like a shining star, like mm-hmm. wow, whatever. Well, okay, like, cool, cool. Yeah. So I guess they had a put up there, but still, it's neutral ground for him. He I, should be getting more of a push than anything because he's he should. A great but I don't worker. think he got. I mean, technically, any loss is a job, but I technically don't think that him losing to Sami Zayn was that big of a deal. It wasn't that big of a deal. It's just in combination. I know. But also, it's not putting him over on things. You know, it's it's keeping him level. It's keeping him level. You know, you're right. But he, uh, Rusev should start winning again. Right. Because it's going to happen. He's going to get. Listen, 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 listen. Rusev just came. Somebody tweeted about about how Rusev should have been the number one contender for the IC title. And I I couldn't disagree more. Yeah. I couldn't disagree more. Yeah, I don't like that. The guy just came up, first of all, the guy just came off huge, huge U.S. title run. Huge, yeah. yeah. Huge U.S. title run. He doesn't need to be thrown into another title picture overnight. 
No. That oh, that eliminates not, no. growth for other other wrestlers, right. especially especially Sami Zayn, who's been fucking buried since being on Monday Night Raw. You want to talk and, about Jobber? <laughs> and he's a top talent on yeah. Raw, in mm-hmm. my opinion. And I think he should have been drafted to SmackDown to begin Me with. Me too. He should not have been drafted to Raw because they've Absolutely. done shit with him Absolutely. since. Yep. So Agreed. this, so Sami Zayn goes over on Rusev, and now it's Sami Zayn versus Dolph Ziggler. That's gonna steal the fucking show. I can't. That's wait. That is going to. Do we have this conversation already? I don't think so. No. Somebody, I spoke to somebody. I think I might have texted. Were we texting? I don't think so. Maybe so. Oh, I might have texted my group message. Anyway, I said that that match is probably going to be the match of the night. It's going to steal the show. I no think it's going to steal the show too. So one be because it's happen. one of the very few singles matches. Yes. And like it makes that much for like a more personal experience because I mean, it's Ziggler versus Zane. That is. Per- that's it's a pipe wrestling. dream. That is wrestling. It's a pipe dream. Yeah. It's literally wrestling. It's a pipe dream. And it's going to be Dolph Ziggler is one of the best wrestlers in this company, and so is Sami Zayn. So two points on this right now. That Sami Zayn probably will go over. If not, he'll get another shot at it. But he's going to be drafted to SmackDown. Not he's going to be traded or something. He okay. will end up on SmackDown after this, no doubt. You think so? Absolutely. Something I could have seen happening was either a double countout or a draw, and adding Rusev into the triple threat. That would be cool. And I think that would be really, really good because Rusev could go for a title shot mm-hmm. on SmackDown. Yeah. Because Rusev versus AJ Styles. That'd be intense. Nice. That stuff would be right a sick there. match. Nice I don't stuff. Know. Because be there's no match. other contenders anymore. There's Dean. There's Bray. Who else? On give Smackdown, Bray that no chance. Give Bray that chance. Give Bray that. Give not, Bray the title. I think so. But oh, they're uh, not gonna. No, no, I'm gonna wait. Let's Smackdown. wait till we get to SmackDown. Let's yeah. wait till we get to SmackDown. So I think Rusev deserves like James Ellsworth. He's he even tweeted. He's like James Ellsworth got a title match. We'll talk about that. We we know. I hate James Ellsworth, but we'll talk about that later. We're not on SmackDown. But I think Rusev would be a good world champion on SmackDown. I think he could. Really be a good, good, um, yeah, good, whatever, guy to run SmackDown. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, whatever. Uh, that was a good sentence yeah. right there. <laughs> was, I just lost that was all a my fantastic train of thought. sentence. Yeah, I need there was to go, a I lot of adjectives back. in there. I'm gonna tweet that. Yeah, <laughs> good, yep, yeah, good, good, great, <laughs> good. Okay, so. there's a great amount of adjectives in there. So now was the point where it was the fatal five way: Kevin Owens versus Braun Strowman versus Seth Rollins versus Y2J. Versus Roman freaking Reigns. So before you actually talk about the match, can I just talk about something that I don't like that I just brought up before? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't like the way that they booked all of this. The Survivor Series thing. Raw was well, fine. Well, it's Survivor Series. Just, no, no, just no. throwing it out there. Yeah. I'm saying, no, Raw was fine. Yeah. Like, the way that they booked the Fatal Five way, it was okay. It was when you put it in, com- in combination with everything else that I didn't like. So I'm going to spoil SmackDown here. Um... They pretty much did the exact same thing. Yeah. Except they made a tag team match. And then they did it with the women's too. Yeah. And they did it with the tag teams. Yes. It's everyone. I know that there's odd pairings, but every single Survivor Series match that involved that wasn't a singles match was teased by all of them fighting each, wrestling each other this week. Yeah. And it doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make sense. They had to do it, I guess. They didn't have to do anything with it. They could have no, just they could have just picked. Like yeah, the Fatal Five Way was fine because these guys are like they really fucking hate each other. But on SmackDown, mm-hmm. it's like, who cares? You know what I mean? Like, all it did was continue the feud between Dean and AJ. Exactly. And the women's was stupid, like I said before. Right. Okay. So I don't know. So this match happened. What do I have to say about this match? This match happened. It was a great match. It was really, really, really good. Um, the best part of this match was that something that you wanted to bring up that will be brought up right now is that Kevin Owens pinned Jericho, <coughs> yes. which furthermore is there. And I love how he did. Happen. I love how he did it too. He just like rolls over, like yeah. he gets he's he knocked the fuck punch, out, yeah. and he just rolls over and he, he pins him. It was great. I love it. Loved was good. It. it was I a perfect ending. They yeah. keep doing <laughs> shit like this for the next couple months until Mania, and I'm telling you, this is how it's gonna work. Or until Royal Rumble, sorry. Royal Rumble. Yeah. And then when that actual heel turn happens, right in the Rumble. Wait, so not turns in the match, heel, they're both already heel. Well, not, yeah. who it's, turns not, it's not a split. A split. It's, a, yeah. it's not really who turns heels, just who turns on who. Yeah, because they're both heels. Yeah, so. they're both heels. So. And I'm telling you that Kevin always turns on Jericho. Yeah. So the last point. I, I mean, it ha- I, He kind of has to, right? I feel like. Mm-hmm. Or I mean, now Jericho can turn on Owens. He too. could turn on Owens out of like envy of the title mm-hmm. and like. I just think that if Kevin Owens turns on Jericho, that just gives Jericho more of the pathetic loser that Jericho is playing right now. The whole like. 
whatever, like, snobby, like, look at my scarf guy, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and if, if Kevin Owens turns on him, he's like... $750 scarf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so. like, if KO turns on him, it's like, oh, hey, my best friend turned you just made the list, like, yeah, it'll I love perfect. it. Yeah, it'll be perfect. But the last point I want to make is that I've been saying this, but is this episode four? Yeah. I've been saying this for three weeks now, and this is about to be the fourth. Raw, stop putting pay-per-view matches on Raw. Yes, yes. Because this yes, is yes. a pay-per-view match. Mm-hmm. This is, a like... Like, look at the star power in the ring. Jericho, KO, Rollins, Reigns, and Strowman. Stop doing stuff like that. And going back to the very beginning, Why I stop like though? how... Because they, their pay-per-views have been lackluster. You could take Hell that... Hell good. Yeah, it was... Yeah, Hell in a Cell was good, but before that... It was good, it, it wasn't was, great, though. Yeah, it wasn't great, but they're, they're putting all these pay-per-view matches, like, they're putting the match, and then they're putting the same thing on Hell in a Cell. They're doing this and then that and then this. And well, then the that. perfect example was literally the same match was New Day versus New Day versus Shazaro, yeah, as you like to call him. Yeah, exactly. Um, Shazaro. Like literally, it was they they put it on Raw the week before Hell in a Cell, and then they just did it again on Hell in a yeah. Cell. Like, so it didn't make sense. Overall, Raw was booked great. <coughs> it was a decent show. It was better than most recent shows. I give Raw an eight this week. Wow. I don't know if I give. I give it like a seven point five. Give it technically an eight. eight. Would you give Raw? Probably like a seven and a half. Seven and a half, yeah. yeah. So I was eight. looking up reviews. I'm optimistic this week. Yeah, I was optimistic. I was looking up reviews and people like hated it, miserable, hated it. I was like, how? It was booked well. Yeah, because you're looking up reviews on a wrestling show. Everyone fucking hates everything. Everyone hates everything. No, but that's one thing you have to realize about wrestling is that nobody's ever happy. Yeah, the fans ever. are never happy. Fans just got too like fandom into it now. They're mm-hmm. too dedicated and too like. And, and the thing is, it. the thing is, because now like you see the way it's getting booked and the way people are getting like like pushes and this and that like honestly if you look at it it's the fans pretty much control the show at this point yeah they and do. when fans don't get their way it's bad they <clears throat> get bitchy yeah, yeah like hella bad. bitchy they get bitchy including me i get bitchy too <laughs> yeah. i just refused to talk about the club last week because they kept losing like right. like i also got bitchy so that concludes raw <laughs> raw it's a good show and let's move on to smackdown all right so smackdown now uh not much actually really happens so i'm gonna run through this pretty quick good um, or try to at least. I can go back to ranting. Yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be, happen. there's gonna be a couple of rants. I guarantee you, because yeah. I fucking, oh, they piss me off, man. They yeah, really do. Yes, they like, they annoy the shit out of me. Yeah. Okay, so we start off the show. Once again, like I just said before, the fucking entire people are in the ring that are wrestling yes. at Survivor Series. Team SmackDown. Yes. Baron Corbin uh, comes out. AJ, well, AJ's out. He's like, oh hey, like. It's my team. Baron Corbin comes out. He's like, it's not your team. You're a piece of shit. And then Wyatt's come out. Everyone comes out, and they're all in the ring. Finally, everyone's arguing. Dean Ambrose comes out and does one of the coolest. For some reason, for me, I don't know why I found it so cool. Walks out to the ring. He's about to get in the ring and literally just turns yeah. back around and <laughs> walks back up the ramp. And then James Ellsworth comes out, and they walk down together. Uh, I thought that was cool. Um, <laughs> then... Uh, they all are about to start fighting. Um, Shane McMahon comes out. James Ellsworth, uh, he says, oh, we got to stick together. We're Team Blue, whatever, blah, blah, blah. James, El- James Ellsworth whispers in his ear, and he's like, oh, hey, by the way, James Ellsworth is the mascot of Team SmackDown, which I think is fucking great. That is hilarious. <laughs> I think it's As hysterical. Hate James Ellsworth, that's hilarious. Because he's not, because he's not wrestling. He's just a mascot, that's and that's what he's, he's supposed to be. If James Ellsworth wait, stayed... Wait, go wait. on. Wait, he's been a mascot for Dean Ambrose. Yes. No, he and has every been. single thing that James Ellsworth has done has decided things on a week to week basis. Do you want James Ellsworth to be the deciding factor no, but he of a survivor series? Don't, I don't say think that. So. You really should not underestimate WWE. <laughs> yeah, you really shouldn't say yeah, that. Actually, right, right, now right. that I'm thinking about it, yes. He could wow. be a deciding factor in action in what actually happens yes, in so. a in an actual <laughs> Raw versus SmackDown Survivor Series <laughs> James match. If, if that James happens, Ellsworth if that happens, I promise you, guys, the mascot. I'll not be on that, I'll not be on that podcast. That's I fine. will t- definitely take a league of absence. <laughs> I will fill in that day. You fill and in I will day. speak on your behalf because yeah. we'll probably have the same sentiments. I will not talk. <laughs> I will not talk. One thing about the segment, I did like the segment though. One thing I have to say, Baron Corbin impressed me a lot. Just SmackDown overall. Yeah. In the ring or but for promos? What? Both. I, but, but for what? What do you mean? How? But for like, what now? What oh, is, no, what for it? absolutely no reason. Yeah. But that's because he's saying. Yeah. But I just hurt. like. No, he actually is hurt. That's why. That's why they. Like, there was a bunch of rumors that he was it's hurt. It's kayfabe. 
I think, think so? I'm a strong yeah. believer that it's kayfabe yeah. really? because so. there's I'm I'm pretty sure I don't know this for a fact, but I'm pretty sure there's like, for lack of a better word, a protocol when a wrestler's actually hurt, the other wrestler doesn't touch him, yeah, and Kalisto k- comes over and fucking missile drop kicks his quote injured yeah. leg. Well, I just don't think that his leg was actually thing that was injured. I think he has something wrong. I don't know. I, I he might have an actual injury, yeah. but that leg injury, oh, no, him falling no, no, up no, the no. apron is a hundred percent kayfabe. We're gonna. That's my rant yeah. that I was going okay. for because fuck that. He could have made no. it look a lot better. His yeah. knee definitely. <laughs> his knee definitely is not hurt, but something's hurt because there's no reason why they would just all of a sudden switch out Baron Corbin and put Shane McMahon there. Because people no want to see Shane McMahon. Yeah, but they. What, nobody knows. Whatever. But nobody's. No, they do, but, but, but there hasn't been a Shane McMahon buzz to get it, Shane back exactly, in the ring. There hasn't you know been what I mean? that. Like yeah. it's so random. This could be Vince McMahon chilling in his chair has and the dartboard, the WWE dartboard, yeah, like, throwing like, darts. <laughs> Shane, you're in. Who's who's yeah. gonna get fucked this week? Yeah, yeah, Baron Corbin, you're out. Yeah. That's it. Make oh, an awkward fall off the yeah. off the apron. And, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and make him. it look terrible while Who's you're replacing him? <laughs> Shane, work for your money. You're in and that also, match. Also, <laughs> last week on SmackDown, they just brought up Baron Corbin with that weird-ass promo biker bullshit. Did you guys see that? Were you watching SmackDown last week? I, I, I kind of skimmed, skimmed through, through it. it because so the, you didn't see the, this weird Baron Corbin Okay, promo, we were right? there at no. SmackDown, and during I Nikki Bella's entrance... That sounds entrance, that awful. Oh. No. During, <laughs> listen, it, it wasn't bad, but it was so random. Nick, literally during Nikki Bella's entrance, they had a Baron Corbin promo. As she was walking down. As she was walking down the ramp. Yeah, and it, the lights didn't go off or anything. It was just a Baron Corbin <laughs> promo. I don't know if that was, and it was just, just like, a hey, technical they're thing. pushing like this whole politically correct like yeah. woman angle. Yeah, and then and they no, put I, Baron Corbin. That's why I was Becky asking Lynch's because it was just him riding a motorcycle. That was him. It was him riding a motorcycle in a motorcycle cut with like with Ray Bans on. Like, I just don't. Why? No, I don't no, know. that's the thing. I don't understand one and two. It had to be a technical error. There's I no think way. So. Yeah, I think because so. it, I'm telling you, me and Nick literally looked at each other and we went, what the fuck that, is going on right now? Don't know. Don't know what it was. It looked like his maybe his new ring entrance, like maybe he's getting rebranded, or I guess he's always been a Well, no, he's always guy, been a biker. Yeah. But, I don't know. Anyway, so... Maybe The Undertaker just rubbed off on him. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> but, uh, Worst gimmick I can't, ever. I'm not even going to talk about that. We talked about that before. We're worst about, gimmick ever. <laughs> worst gimmick for The Undertaker ever. No, no, worst gimmick, There's period. There's been really bad gimmicks. Dude, there's the America's Bash bad. was gimmicks. horrifying. No, it not was. I was a kid when that happened. I was like, what is this? I know, when I was a kid, I loved it. Dude, <laughs> no. I loved it, but it was the worst Undertaker gimmick. Yeah, there has been terrible gimmicks. Yeah, yeah. Best this. gimmicks. <laughs> no, like, there's best a, I can go on for days about bad gimmicks. It's not even funny. Eugene. So Eugene was a great gimmick. No, no. Stop. You know how famous. politically incorrect <laughs> that entire fucking thing was? Yes. That was, bad. But that was before anybody no, gave a like, shit about yeah. political that's not. That's not not That being would PC. never go over these days. That's literally just being completely tone deaf to the world around yes, you was a yes, Eugene angle. Yes. That was so fucking dumb. Anyway. Eugene's what? actually a really good wrestler, by the way. Like, I And he played that character. Most, great. most like, jobbers are. Yeah. Most, like... Because they're indies. They're indie freaks. And yeah, and they're local really talent. Good. Yeah, local talent. Well, Eugene actually, like, runs James a school Elsworth. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Eugene runs a school, which God. is... His name's, like, Nick something, but I watch a couple of his videos. Pretty interesting. <coughs> anyway. Gilbert. Gilbert. Yeah. Say so, there you go. <laughs> so Shane uh, comes out, and he's like, oh, blah, 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 but you're all going to be in tag team match. Baron Corbin walks out of the ring. He's like, fuck you all. And it's just these. Okay. Word. Um, oh, yeah, so it was a tag team match. It was... Dean Ambrose, James Ellsworth, and Baron Corbin versus AJ Styles. Oh, not AJ Styles, I'm sorry. Versus the new Wyatt family. So Orton, yeah. Luke Harper, and Time out. Wyatt. I, I could not wait until we got... I was thinking about this before I even came here. I don't buy it. You don't buy it? I don't buy oh, it. Oh, no, Orton's obviously going to turn. I don't... Again. I don't, even, I don't <laughs> yeah. even buy Orton as, like, a fake Wyatt family member. It's yeah. just stupid. He should it just grow stupid. his beard out. The only thing... I was literally yeah. saying that before. I, like I said, I skimmed through it before I came here, and I, I was literally saying that. I was like, he should just grow his beard out. Yeah. If he's really going to try to sell anybody, if there's one thing it takes and to be why he's like a fucking too. beard. The only, like thing I, the only thing... He why? should, like, stop with the trunks and, like, put on, like, yeah, some on weird pants or something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe a pair of ripped up jeans. The no shirt's fine because he's got that kind of like tattoos and like all the skulls and shit, so it fits. Not only that, he's like crafted by the hands of God. Yeah, that's true. As much as I'm not a huge fan of Randy Orton, like in general, I mean, he's 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 he looks great. He's a good looking man. He's yeah, he looks great. (laughs) I like that that. because (laughs) it was something I didn't see coming. So. That's oh no! I, I liked it. Yeah, we talked about it last week. I didn't see that coming at all. Didn't see it coming. So that's the only reason why I like it. Don't buy it though. You're right. You know what's funny? Actually, and I hate to sound like that guy right now yeah, because you saw it coming. 
the second he like turned over to go into that yeah his yeah, little that, viper that, pose yeah when he becomes a snake which yeah. I can't fucking stand I, it I, I, I dig it I, I dig I everything about Orton no, no, I, I used it. to I used to like it when he really was like a fucking snake about now it. he's kind of just right now him. before he goes for the RKO it's not even like that he does that super thing. He gets the crowd into it, and everybody's on their feet. Like, nobody's mm-hmm. been doing that since Yeah, but it's because he's... Like, nobody does that for Reigns. Nobody does that for anybody who charges up their Cena. finisher. Nobody does that for Cena. No one does a You Can't See Me when he oh, does the You Can't See Me, but I'm saying, like, yeah, but like, like, Randy gets everybody into it. He actually goes up to the ropes, and he's like, lifts no, his I know. arms yeah, up yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that, yeah, and people go nuts, because yeah. they can't wait for he it. He has his own... He teaches a banjo a little bit. Well, yeah, honestly, <laughs> on, I, I, and I really I really believe this is that the RKO became trendy. Oh it's no! Trendy, yeah, well, yeah. Hashtag out of nowhere. Yeah, like, yeah. No, it is. It's, it's just a line. When your when your merch as a wrestler says hashtag out of nowhere on the back of it, you know you fucking made yeah. it on the internet. Yeah, yeah. you know you're mm-hmm. over with the internet crowd. Exactly. But that's why I, that's the same thing with John Cena too, with that fucking prank call. Yeah, the John Cena. Yeah, 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 yeah. so big. He's over literally. I mean, he's always been huge, yeah. but he's yeah, I mean, over with on, he's people. John Cena. Yeah, he's but he's over with people who don't know wrestling. So is Randy Orton because everyone knows an RKO. Yes, everyone, everyone does. Yeah. Everyone's seen a fucking vine of someone RKOing their girlfriend into a pool. It's right. true. You know what I mean? Like yeah, true. Anyway, we're continuing. Um, next we have something that I would never say that I like. Kind of like Raw, like you said with the Shining Stars. Yeah. We got Breezango versus the Vaude Villains. Stop now, torturing Tyler Breeze. Now. Stop it. Yeah. No, but he's they won. Talent- no, but he's too won. talented. He's too talented. Stop misusing him. He is such a talented wrestler. I love him. I think so. He Fandango is a phenomenal... Dude, Fandango is a talented wrestler. Yeah. They should not have their gimmicks. And they should not be a tag team. They should be in singles matches and they should be competing for for real. Especially, yeah. especially Tyler Breeze. Yeah, he Tyler should Breeze not really be... Good. He was in the IC title run when he first came up though. That's true, but he, yeah, he fucked up long. apparently b- backstage long. and he got yeah. punished big time. Like, yeah. pff, look at him. I yeah. mean, big time he got punished. Same thing with uh, Sin Cara now. He just got into a fight with Jericho backstage. Yeah, it's all that. You don't fuck with the GOAT, man. You <laughs> don't fuck with the you GOAT. You don't fuck with anyone backstage. That's apparently the, got fucked up, too. That's the second thing. That's the second Sin Cara altercation. <laughs> I forgot where it happened. Yeah, who, who else did he fight take, with? They're making him take anger management classes. Oh, they now. fought with, um, damn. It was Sin Cara and someone else. I saw a video of it. Yeah, it was like a big deal. It was like, yeah, it was a like bigger guy. I forgot who it was, but Sin Cara like messed with him or whatever. Oh, wait, was it Zack Ryder? Might have been Ryder. Yeah, it was Zack Ryder. It was Zack Ryder. I'm pretty I sure. Know, I remember reading been. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so. I got to be honest. The guy like Sin Cara doesn't sound like he's even worth the stress in the long run. He's not even the real Sin Cara, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's literally not. He's, yeah. I guess they passed down things, but he wasn't passed down because there was two Sin Caras. He was, was he like Sin Cara Negro or something? I have no I idea. Don't know. He was anyway. Like that. Uh, I hate the vaude villains. They suck. Breezango. Stop it. The vaude villains are awful. Stop it. They used to be really good, but their booking, their booking is terrible. They well, you can't great. blame them for that. They were great in NXT. They oh, no, I'm not blaming up. them. I'm you just, can't I'm, blame I just them. don't like their characters. The, the, the use of the vaude villains is awful. I will agree with that. They're, they're, they're great heels, though. They're great they're heels. They're great heels. They draw heat. They're dry. But they're be, they're put, they're being put in dry situations. Right? But they're I being think, booked dry. I think Simon Gotch should just get fired he is a fucking his body is terrible he's yeah. awful he has a lisp like i don't care about people with lisp because people work their list dusty Rhodes, he doesn't and Wait, what, uh, what? cody Rhodes. cody Rhodes does Co- uh, it sucks he works his list, cody but it's aiden english is great he aiden is english great. Is <laughs> he sells aiden english is fucking fantastic he's great he has a great look and you just said a fucking swanton bomb <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> he match. is great he's a great wrestler he sells this manly thing simon gotch does nothing he just sits he there just has and a curly looks mustache. awful, and you could tell sometimes. I don't know if you guys could notice this. I notice this a lot. When you're uncomfortable, you see that you're look like mm-hmm. Simon Gotch is always looking at Aiden English on what to do. Yeah, always, mm-hmm. and that's just something that I don't think should be done. What What did you just say about? I was gonna write it down because I want to bring it back up later. What? Fuck, man. What was it Never about? mind. I, it's alright. It's alright. Right. I'll I'll I'll. I'll but I'll yes, I hate the world villains. I like <laughs> Simon Gotch. But Breeze Angle one. I don't like something. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Breeze Angle won. Good. Yes. Good. good. Very fantastic. Finally, maybe. Their first win fucking ever. Yeah. So, um, I actually didn't mind the segment at all. I know most people hated it. Now we have Naomi versus Natalia, which is <sighs> fucking filler match. Doesn't really matter at all. Uh, Nikki Bella, guest commentator. Carmella comes down. Nikki Bella, Carmella have a face off. Nikki Bella abuses Natalia and Carmella. And then, uh, Naomi. And Naomi wins, and Nikki Bella 
yeah, walks blah, out blah, raising, blah, blah. yeah, blah, 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 no one gives right. a fuck. The funny part is, though, I was laughing at that match because Natalia almost got counted out <laughs> just standing there, and it was really funny. I don't know if they actually meant to do that, but yeah. she literally went like, oh, shit, and rolled back in the ring. Yeah. It was really funny, and she got rolled up. But, um, okay, so that was whatever, no one gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Now we have Kalisto versus Baron Corbin. Now, this match was... It could have actually been decent, except they made Baron Corbin awkwardly fall off the apron and quote unquote injure his it was knee. Awkward as hell. That guy's too big to make anything look graceful anyway. So <laughs> he literally <laughs> stumbled and whatever. And then Sin Cara, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Kalisto, Kalisto fucking yeah. Sin Cara. Um, Kalisto actually, the way that they booked the match, whether even though the the fall was stupid, the way yeah. he attacked the knee and really did a crazy like hardcore violent drop kick on his knee to the stairs, because that was violent as fuck. Yeah. And it was like, that was pretty cool. Like, he was actually, he looked good there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And obviously he always looks good, but, and I like, when I said Baron Corbin impressed me before, this is another reason why, when he came down to the ring, like, he didn't do anything, like, he didn't, like, do anything crazy. He literally, like, was about to high-five a fan and then just, like, waved him off. He was like, whatever. Like, he just, you could tell that Baron Corbin, the character, fucking hated being there. And right. I like him like yeah. that. Because he's a heel, he does not want to wrestle. Yeah. If you're Baron Corbin, the character, you don't want to fucking be there. You're a lone wolf. You don't belong with everybody. Right. Everyone hates you. You hate everybody. That's who you should be. Right. And I gotta then, be honest. I would wear a Baron Corbin shirt, like with the wolf on it, if it didn't I, say Baron Corbin on it. Yeah, I think it's. A, I think. The, I think the, that merch design is so see, sick. But I just the character development like, is really good. I actually like Baron Corbin. I really don't. I know. I said that I he's didn't. He's receding hairline. He that does. Be fixed. Dude, so do I. You need to chill. Yeah, no. But My yeah. hair is fucking going, no, man. And Baron, I'm, I'm sad, Baron I'm sad about like, it. <laughs> Baron Corbin is really fading. Dude, I look in the mirror every day. Ambrose, though. Dean, yeah, Dean Ambrose, though. Dean Ambrose has his too. Yeah. Dean Ambrose bad. pulses this it's way. Real bad. <laughs> so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Baron <laughs> Corbin goes that way. Yeah. So. No, but uh, I, I know I've said in the past I didn't like Baron Corbin, but lately I have been... Because he's just been playing it nice. Right. I hate Baron Corbin and Jack Swagger because I say that oh neither God. one of them matter. Because Baron Corbin doesn't matter. The thing is, Jack Swagger will never matter, and Baron Corbin can matter. Yes. M Baron Corbin will be the, he can be the champion league. of SmackDown one day. Yes. I think he so. He 100% will be. He's still young. He's great. And if he plays that fucking heel like he did yesterday, he's great. If he literally just tells everyone to fuck off. Yeah. I and he just that. does his own thing. Management, but, but see, everybody. that's what I don't get. Like, there, like as far as <coughs> kayfabe is concerned, there is a heel locker room where all the heels are boys, and right. there's a face locker room where all the faces yeah. are boys. Yeah. If you're a heel, you go out and you shake hands with the he the main heel on your show, yeah. Yeah. AJ Styles. Mm -hmm. He is the face of heels on your show. He's the champ. Yeah, he is the heel champ. Yeah, he's great. You don't go out there and say, uh, I don't fight for your team. You go out there and support your, yeah, that your more best I, I do get that. I do understand that. The thing is, though, if AJ Styles was fucking hated, that would, that work. would work. But AJ, AJ Styles is not hated. Is most over. Besides Ellsworth. He's very over. Most no, over? No, 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 no. Dean's way more over than AJ is. Are we, we're only talking SmackDown, right? Yeah, we're only yeah, talking yeah, yeah. Oh, I was going to say, come on, sheesh. No, 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 no. Jesus no, 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 Christ, don't make me go back to Jericho. No, we're only doing. talking SmackDown. Only talking I, SmackDown. I, I, no, I think Dean's the he most over, over on that show. He is over, but AJ is more over than hated. I got to be honest, I don't understand. I don't understand Ambrose's popularity. I love Dean Ambrose. I'm a huge Dean Ambrose fan, so. Yeah, do you love watching all of his matches in slow motion? Because that's how he wrestles. No, no, he does. But I I don't mind his style of wrestling. And his gimmick is awful. I'm sorry, know. but lunatics don't act like the way Dean. Oh Ambrose no, no, no! Acts. You're right, but the thing if is, if your if your if your gimmick is to be a lunatic, do some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. Don't talk to somebody about how much they filled up your coffee cup. Like, right. remember, remember that? Like yeah, the yeah. whole coffee cup. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. ooh, crazy lunatic. Is, like, no, I don't stupid. like. I don't like that they call him the lunatic fringe. That you are right about that because I think he should be. I always said he should come out to Sanitarium by Metallica. I thought that was fucking. <laughs> I thought that'd be fucking awesome. I still say that now. Because I hate his theme music. I fucking hate it. Yeah. But. It's so cheesy. Like a car, yeah. But, um, <laughs> it's not even that. The guitar, there's like a fucking weird ass, like, instrument. I can't even tell what instrument that is in the background, but it's I, fucking weird. Yeah. Anyway. Um, it's like a wah pedal. Yeah, it, it's literally just like. <laughs> like, it, yeah, I hate weird. it. It's so It's not, not even just his theme music. It's just like. <sighs> I, but the thing is, I, he I just love He him. reaches. So hard, like he reaches so far to like, g like convince people that he's some kind of lunatic. When really, like the things that he says and does aren't really 
lunatic. He just doesn't care. He doesn't. He's care. not a lunatic. He just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, he, like he, he's just like whatever. I'll do whatever I want. The reason why I see him as a lunatic because I watch a lot of his John Moxley stuff when he was. That's in, different. Uh, well, though. That's not his current. No, but his CZW shit but was sick. I never. Was I liked Ambrose. Crazy, dude. I liked Ambrose until he was a champion, and I think Justin put it the best here. The reason why I still like Ambrose is because he's good chasing things. Ambrose he's is very really good, good chasing things. He is a guy to put like. A face that's chasing something that has no chance, like and he's, he's an put, underdog. That's what he is. He's an like, underdog. Even look at Brock Lesnar. That match was fucking horrible. Yeah. But that entire feud was sick, and I love Brock Lesnar. But it's because there's also another was. match that he was in that was terrible that had the, all the potential in the world. The asylum well, match. And I was there to witness it. Yep. And it was the asylum it was heartbreaking. match, which was yeah. which was pretty shitty. And that match, the, I mean, man, the Dolph Ziggler until match, the yeah. end. Wait. The end was cool. Yeah. yeah. It ended cool. It ended cool. And Why was, was Mitch the potted plant a survivor of the asylum? I don't know. Why? I don't Tell know. Tell me why. Tell me why. But Wait a minute, hold on. I just said something that might have been completely wrong, and I apologize if I did. Who did who did he uh face at in uh it was Ziggler, wasn't it, for the title? When? For, yeah. for the WWE championship when he yes. when he held it yeah. and that match sucked, right? Yes. yes, it was Ziggler, so I'm not wrong. That match was fucking horrible. And it's be and John Cena when we were at SmackDown, came out afterwards. Not not this week. Uh, yeah, the, the last, a couple months ago in Philadelphia, right. <coughs> and he said, um, "Dean Ambrose." He called him out. He was like, "You were slacking when you were when you were a champion," and he was. And he slacked super hard. And he said it after the after all the cameras went off. He said it. He was like, "Dean Ambrose slacked," but now he's like, "I was on the wrong end of a dirty deeds," and Dean Ambrose is back because that match was sick. And lately, Dean Ambrose matches have been great. He's been good because lately. I think he's good. Chasing things, and yeah, he might not have the best wrestling style in the world. It is kind of slow. You're right, but the thing is, I enjoy watching Dean Ambrose, and I do like his promos. Like, and they're they're kind of cooling it with the lunatic thing lately. They really haven't said it that much. Yeah. Like JBL is always on fucking Dean Ambrose's yeah. dick. But like, oh, God, don't even get me started on JBL. Yeah, and okay, because going I, uh, just moving forward because we're r- running a little bit long. Yeah, but but because JBL is coming up later too. because yeah. he fucked up. I know. Hard. Oh, I'm shocked. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Um, little point about that uh, asylum match. If you guys ever watch that and you see a guy doing a running man challenge all the time, that's me. Yes, I watched it live and you were very annoying. Yes, I, I can. I can't the lie. The only you reason really why annoying. it's so perfect is because my body is at the top of the asylum. Like mm-hmm. the camera angle is literally the, the asylum, and it looks like I'm standing on top of it. I'm just doing the running man the whole time, and I've gotten so many like texts and stuff like th- about that. It was just so funny. We didn't, we weren't good friends, but I, I think I said hello to you that time. Yeah, I seen you over there. Yeah, yeah. I, was I, like, I was on TV the <laughs> entire. I sat yeah. hard side. You, know you sat next yeah. in the Prudential Center with the Rangers. Wearing my colors, you. man. I said that. Wearing my that colors. Is, I actually but, respect you so much because I'm a huge Rangers fan. But so I, I have you I have that. two Rangers tattoos. Yeah, I was just <laughs> yeah. You were sitting next to Grimm's toy show. You don't know Grimm. And the kid behind, they behind me, right? <laughs> they have a YouTube channel in front of you. They were in front of me, and I was behind that. Yeah, they have yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. He was. You were sitting. I watched his channel. I was like, "That's Rob." And yeah. Also, at the, the SmackDown uh, that we were just at, he was sitting like next next thing over. I, I felt bad. He's getting bombarded. He's getting actually. bombarded. The guy's really. Yeah, cool. he actually. He, a he, lot of people went up to him like when I was like when I was there as well. I was like, "Who is this dude?" Yeah, like, he uh, he has a big feud. He has his own wrestling show, and he has a big feud with Kurt Hawkins. So he actually has a feud with Kurt Hawkins in his really? wrestling yeah, show. Yeah, cool. it's really cool. If you ever like have the time, it's Grimm's Toy Show, and he does matches like every weekend, okay. backyard matches, and they're funny. They're entertaining. Cool. You know, he has his own championship belts and stuff. It's cool. So, um, okay. So the next match we have Becky Lynch versus Alexa, Alexa Bliss for the title. Fucking great match. That was awesome. Yeah, I thought it was great. Um, there's not really much to say besides that Becky Lynch made her tap, even though her foot was on the ropes. Right. Which and is, Alexa Bliss is mad hot, so that's about she's, it. And so is Beck. They're just also. I gotta give a shout out to my boy Darren right now because he absolutely despises Alexa Bliss. Really? For, for he, good reasons or bad reasons? I mean, based on looks alone. Oh, really? Yeah, he, he's, he's like, dude, oh, he's, he's, like, so he's like, I can't stand the way she looks. I can't believe you guys find no, her attractive. No, we met her. No, we like, met her dude, really cool. then. She's yeah. beautiful. And one thing I also have to say, Carmella. See, I don't think Carmella's like. Carmella's not even about... from Staten Island. No, right. she's not. That's true. <laughs> I don't know why we're talking about their looks right now because it really doesn't matter doesn't at all. Matter. But just right. guy talk here. Sorry if you're a female. Guy talk. Carmella, real life, Slimy. thousand times hotter Smoking. than on than on TV. hundred yes. percent. She's beautiful, that yes. girl. Okay, so now enough of that because that's fucking yeah. retarded. I've talked about Alexa um, Bliss a lot because she's a good heel. And I don't want to talk about this much more either because it pissed me the fuck off. Apollo Cruz versus Kurt Hawkins. First of all, why does Kurt Hawkins have a black eye? That's one. Kurt Hawkins is stupid. <laughs> Two. 
He's a stupid idiot. Kirk Hawkins <laughs> is a stupid idiot and belongs on the list. Three, yeah. stop burying Apollo Crews because he's great. Sucks on the mic. Fantastic wrestler. Yes. Enough. Uh, Kurt Hawkins lose. Uh, Kurt Hawkins pins Apollo Crews. Only thing about Apollo Crews is that he doesn't have a gimmick. He, everything else is good. He's a good. He's cheerful. Everybody loves him. Great I love Apollo Crews. I think his fantastic. smile kills me. Oh kills my me. god! It kills me. <laughs> he should never smile again. It's so good. It's so nice. He has a perfect smile. I've never yeah. seen anybody with a better smile. Yeah, his, he needs to stop. The thing is, like, he's he's perfect. Needs, too he, perfect. His, it it's, it's literally like one hundred percent symmetrical on both right. sides. I think he'd like, be a badass heel. With that smile, would like say some heel and smile. I'd be like, he would kind of be. Oh, I, I mean, you. I mean, this it's might true. sound racist, yeah. but it's not supposed to be. He'd be like Bobby Lashley, right? He could be like Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley has a great smile too. He does have a great What's smile. What's with these bald black guys? <laughs> but, but, but Bobby Lashley <laughs> was a heel. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he, he was, was a heel. He's yeah, a heel he now a heel. too. Yeah, TNA. TNA. he's a huge heel actually. Yeah, and they both could do backflips. Can Bobby? Yeah, Bobby Lashley does a really sketchy backflip, but. <laughs> He kind of does like a Brock Lesnar shooting star for us. Yeah, like his legs are super extended <laughs> yeah. and shit like that. But all right, anyway, the main event we have Dean Ambrose, Kane, and James Ellsworth versus the Wyatt family. I actually really found this match fucking great. Um, we have James Ellsworth. The entire match is going on. James Ellsworth tags, uh, tags himself into Dean God. Ambrose. I love Kane's gimmick with, or not gimmick, like shoot. like storyline. Yeah, or a shoot yeah. with. Uh, with James Ellsworth, he tried to take him in, and Kane did like the cutthroat right, thing yeah. to him. He's like, "Get the fuck out of here!" Yeah. Um, <laughs> Don't tag in was so hilarious. Like, I was like, "Okay, so he's obviously getting yeah. tagged in." So yeah. he tags in, starts tuning the banjo up a little oh bit for, uh, on Bray Wyatt, then all of a sudden Bray Wyatt catches a super kick and Sister Abigail's him. I fucking yeah, a mile away yeah. to yeah. smithereens. Yeah. This guy got Sister Abigail. It, it was, was so when you have hard. a guy that size, when yeah. you have a guy that size giving a Sister Abigail. To a guy James Ellsworth's size. Yeah. Say what you want about James Ellsworth. Makes a beautiful thing. He can sell a move. Yeah. Yes, he can, he sell, can sell. Oh, he, he can, can sell. fucking yes. sell a move. And he, he has a move. fantastic super kick. It's it's a he no really chin, No it. chin music. The no chin music. I, yeah. The first time I ever heard them I call that, actually peed myself. That, yeah. I died. <laughs> I peed myself. I thought it was so funny. It was by, My girlfriend who doesn't watch wrestling at all, I was like, she's seen James Ellsworth today for the first time. Like, She's like, what's wrong with him? I was like, I don't know. looks like a Bob's Burger character. He does. He really yeah. no, he really does. Yeah, real life Bob's burger. Character. It's hilarious. I'm gonna tell you that when I get home. Yeah. It was Saxon who said the no chin music, right? He was yeah. like, he's going. Is he going for a suit? He's going for a no chin music. <laughs> <Yeah>. No <laughs> chin music, I think, is probably the funniest spin off of like yeah a, a move that I've yeah, ever heard so in my funny, life. Man. It's so funny. It's so perfect. It's perfect. Oh. Um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, so that's it. So the Y family wins. I thought it was cool. Overall, SmackDown kind of sucked. Uh, oh, and then obviously we have th- we have two huge announcements here on SmackDown. Yeah. Which I'm saving to the end. One Baron Corbin got injured or kayfabe injured. We yeah. don't know. Um, and Shane McMahon is taking him pl- his place on Team SmackDown for the Survivor Series match. That's fucking great. I love that. I like it. Only if this Baron Corbin thing is like actually like kayfabe or yeah. whatever. You know what I mean? Can yeah. we agree that, that SmackDown is definitely winning? Yes. Oh, 100%. Smackdown's it's winning in the over. writing. They just don't have the depth. No, right we're now. saying in that. And you're saying the Survivor, the Survivor Series match. In the match itself. Yeah, wait, what match? In the, the Survivor Series the match. The Survivor Series in, match. In the main oh, event. Wait, the, the main, main match? match? <clears throat> I think The Smackdown's only winning. reason why I would think so is because of Ellsworth now. But they're definitely winning the women's and the tag team. That's no doubt. And if they win the women's and the tag team, they're not going to win the men's. I don't think they're going to win the tag team. They're definitely going to win the tag team. No doubt in my mind. I, I actually hope not. No doubt. Their tag team is great. Their tag teams are all. Oh really, no no really no! Good. They're great. They are great. Yeah. But here's they're what, definitely gonna win the women's. That's no doubt. Oh, hundred. They have yeah. to. My bad. I just can't. Yeah, you're good. Um, this is what they have to do here. A James El- if James Ellsworth gets involved, whatever. James Ellsworth has to help AJ Styles pick up a pin. I don't know. That's what I think. I, I, I if, wasn't even thinking about this. If now. if AJ Styles, I'm just gonna. We don't have to talk about it because we're going kind of long. Yeah. If AJ Styles. Uh, I almost just said Sister Abigail's. That would have been that would styles be interesting. Clash. Yeah, if he did a Styles Clash to Kevin Owens, Ooh. champion on yes, champion, right? And it's because of James James Ellsworth distracts Kevin Owens. That would be fucking sick to me. I would love that. Right. I really would. Only if it ends like that. If James Ellsworth gets involved any other time, if Dean pins somebody, I would be mad. As much as I love Dean, yeah. AJ Styles needs to pick up. Either Kevin Owens needs to pick up a pin. Or AJ Styles needs to well, pick up. Well, that's obvious. One, one of the champions. Will. They yeah. have to. Yes. Or there's no point of being champion. On each other would be even better. Yeah, on each other would be sick. All right, so now that's SmackDown. I give SmackDown a six and a half. 
Which is better than my last week fucking, yeah. like, four it's, or it whatever was, I gave it. It was, eh, I'll give it, like, a six. I'll, I'll agree with the six and a half there. It was, it was okay. Yeah. There was some really low parts, and then there, were, there weren't there were many high parts. The high parts were good. They weren't great, right. though. Right, yeah. Uh, except the ending, I really do. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Okay, yeah. All right, so now we're on to news. Now, there's actually a lot of news this week. Um, <coughs> we don't have to talk about all of it in depth. One, I just want to say before that, before we start all this, AJ Styles, when he came out again and all the fans were cheering for him, he was like, all right, all right, all right, enough. Like, like he's yeah. a fantastic heel. He is, I just wanted to throw great. that yeah. out there. He definitely is. Next piece of news, Tom Phillips or Sebastian or John, or Felipe, or, Felipe, yeah. or anything that Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens want to call him, is now a commentator on SmackDown. I fucking hate this. You do? Not, no, no, no. Really? Just listen. I hate... I love that Tom Phillips is on SmackDown. He needs to replace Otunga, because Otunga sucks. Oh, David Otunga is God. the worst commentator in the history of WWE. He is yes. abysmal, dude. Yes. He is horrible. He is worse he than had... Byron Saxon, I can't yeah. believe that anybody is. I don't even think Byron is that bad anymore. No, he really is don't. that bad. I'm he is. Bad. He doesn't seem that bad because now we have Tom David Otunga to hate. Exactly. Oh, he's fucking horrible. Oh my God. Horrible. He he has nothing to head ever. The things that he says make no sense, right. and he does. It, oh, I hate him. I just I don't him like too. him. Yeah, but, but I feel like the same could be said really for JBL. Hot shit, and I get shit for this I mean, all the time. I, I, I love J- I love JBL. I so. think JBL is god awful on commentary. <laughs> really? Bet, next think, time, next time, next time you're watching SmackDown. Do you think Michael Cole is better than JBL? I hate him. Yes. So, if so, I haven't pillowed yes. right now. No yeah, way. Yes. <laughs> he is so bad. Listen, I'll tell you Cole, why. I'll Cole, tell you why. Cole. I'll tell you why. Michael Cole sucks for all the reasons that he sucked for the past decade. That is true. He he doesn't know wrestlers' names nor wrestlers' moves. Yo, if he calls JBL, literally never talks about anything that's happening on your screen ever. Yeah, he doesn't. That's true, he doesn't. He doesn't. That's You're horrible. Right. You're right. But Your also, job is to commentate what's going on on screen. He's a screen. color commentator. Huh? He's a color commentator. But he he literally never has anything relevant to offer because to the conversation. Also because Moro just kills it all the time, so you know what I mean? I think he's... I, he's, I'm he's not great. joking you. He's great. I he's great. He, he, but I mean, he's on like another level of broadcasting. He does. He David Otunga is not a broadcaster. No, no. <clears throat> JBL is not a broadcaster. Yeah, Moro is. Moro that no, is a broadcaster. That Cruiserweight Classic commentator team with Moro perfect. and, and Daniel, Daniel Bryan, Bryan perfect. was fucking it was the phenomenal. Perfect. The only reason why is because Daniel Bryan was the perfect color commentator yeah. because that's what you're supposed to be. You're supposed to show real emotion yep. and not scripted. That's for Moro Ronello. Yep. But Moro Ronello commentates the match perfectly, he adds knows those little puns, he knows, he knows every single <clears throat> move, even the Japanese version of the move, mm-hmm. and he adds his puns like the color yeah, commentator he, does. He, he, does calls it it a, he calls it a suicina, he doesn't call it a suicina. Taipei suicina. Yeah, he doesn't. I love what he does like, that. Like, he literally, he, and he's great, he puts so much effort, you can tell like veins are popping out of his neck yeah. when he talks. He's, no, he's a great like, commentator. He really great. is a great commentator. Yeah. And he's so perfect. Get the fucking David Otonga out of there. Yeah. Get him out of there. Now, this is what I hate. Tom Phillips is there, and David Otonga is still there, and there's you should have four commentators. It's going to be clash It hell. is literally... You don't need many, it. How many, first of all, all how many color two. commentators? You need two. It's perfect. I hate three. Get JB, I love JBL, JBL but get him Moro. out of there. JBL and Moro, I think. Uh, to be honest with you, what's going to be crazy to think, because especially Rob's here and he doesn't like him, I think Byron Saxon and Moro would be perfect together. I think they would be good. Because Byron Saxon is a lot like Daniel Bryan in the way that he speaks. Yes. He's very clear and he's very neutral. He's not bad. He really isn't. But more, he used to be bad you, when he was on Raw. But you need a heel and a face. Yeah, Corey Graves and Byron. Corey Graves bashes on Byron every single week. I know, week. I love Corey Graves. Yeah. I think I, lo- I personally love Corey Graves. I, think I like him, but we, I had a bad I had a bad um, meet with him. So Did you? Yeah. I, didn't know that. I was at an NXT show. It was like at a high school gym, and there was like four people <coughs> in the gym. And <laughs> there was like four people was, there. It was me, Alex, Corey Graves, and uh, like someone else. Mm-hmm. And we were in there. I was like, hey, Corey, can I grab a picture? He was like, nah, not right now. I was like, hmm, cool. Thanks. Cool. I was like, just a photo. Like, I'm not asking you to fucking chill with me or something. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to chill? Yeah. I hate, I hate, every commentating team should be two. And yes. I hate, it's true. I hate this like four. JR and the double King. JR yeah. and the King. Yeah. Boom. The best ever. The, the best, best of ever. all time. Yeah. The, the best, best commentating time. team of all time. Yeah. yeah. The second best? Joe Rogan and Michael Goldberg. Or really? Whatever the fuck his name is. I think I Matt Stryker and Vampiro are really great on Lucha. That's great too. Because Vampiro is so dumb and retarded and he says crazy, stupid shit and it's <laughs> funny. And Matt Stryker is just hyped all the time. Also, Ring of Honor, J- JR. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, well, New, New Japan. Japan, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, Speaking of that, a commentator from Ring of Honor. Uh, I have, just, I have okay. it right here. It's my right. next thing. All Steve right. Carino. Right. He's a, Who's great. He's in the uh, Was performance, the performance center. center. Right. Yeah. Which is crazy. He is crazy. Which he is, is crazy. huge. Yeah, he's fucking ginormous. Yeah. So, I think that's cool. 
And I don't know what he's doing there. He could be a trainer. No he could idea. be a coach. He could be just a, a an add-on. But maybe, maybe. And another thing about the Performance Center, Shawn Michaels, new head of the Performance Center. Really? Yep. They announced that? I literally I just read it before. I, I just read it before. It was on Bleacher Report. That Shawn Michaels the, is he's the head of the Performance perfect. Center. Perfect. I, I knew that they had some talk with him being like a, a part-timer, mm -hmm. just coming in, teaching some classes, going out. But now he's ahead. Apparently he's ahead. Unless Bleacher's wrong, unless it's a rumor and I didn't see the rumor thing. But from what I was reading, Shawn Michaels is ahead. Wow, before, so, so he's going to be with the A-Train? I love A-Train. <coughs> I think he's Me great. Me too, he's fantastic. Yeah. Now, and Fit Finley. Now, also on Shawn Michaels, this is where uh, <laughs> JBL's hate can actually come. He said the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. When James Ellsworth was going for the no chin music, JBL said Shawn Michaels would be turning in his grave. He said that? He did. He yes. said Shawn Michaels is turning in his grave and he's not even dead yet. Oh, oh, he That's said he's exactly not even what he dead. Said. He oh, said Shawn Michaels okay, is turning take, in his grave and he's not even oh, dead yet. Okay. I just watched this before. No, 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 no. I yeah. take that back. And when he, when he said Shawn Michaels, I was like, what? And no. then he covered it with, yeah, yeah. and he's not yeah, even dead. No, I was like, whoa. That's why I didn't even what hear that. I wasn't paying attention to the he's not even dead. Did he pause in between there? Like, he wasn't going to say Maybe that? Maybe like a split second. Okay. But it sounded like he intended to say that because if you think Shawn Michaels is dead, you're... I'm saying. Because I literally didn't hear that, and I was, I think because I was so in shock of what I just heard in my ears, I was like, it out. I was like, yeah. oh, "What did you just say?" Yeah, I, I literally. Me when did this happen? Me and Joe were watching it before. <laughs> no, I wasn't even that. I was like, "JBL, like you just said that Shawn Michaels was fucking dead." Yeah, he's not dead. He's not even close. Like he might fight AJ Styles. Like, yeah. Speaking dude, of that, stop if it. they ever, if they ever did stop that, stop it. Listen, if hype comes around and Vince sees hype, anything could happen. I hope it happens. I anything. Mean, Shawn Michaels happen. will never wrestle again. I don't think so either, but Shawn Michaels still, will never wrestle again. if Vince sees it and Vince is like, give him five million, and Shawn Michaels, that bum of a hunter right now, <laughs> he could buy a bunch of rifles with that. <laughs> he could buy a bunch of rifles yeah. with five million dollars. Yeah. Shawn Michaels has enough money to not need to wrestle. <laughs> he, match. yeah, I think he's one of the most more like obviously the Rock, and well, then it's like awesome. To be honest with you, Foley, if, think, if we're Foley. talking Undertaker. straight, Undertaker's up there too. Right? If we're talking straight objectivity, I think Shawn Michaels is the greatest wrestler of all time. In uh, in ring performer, yes. Yes, in ring wrestler, no. On the mic, definitely not. No, on the mic, definitely not. No, definitely way. not. In but in ring right. performer, as far as putting on a show and on performing, show and right. selling, probably yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. probably wrestler, the best of all time. No, the thing I can is, agree with that. The thing is, you're right on a different scale because when Sean was wrestling, people didn't see these backflips off off the ropes. People didn't see these moon salts. People yeah. didn't see these flips. Yeah, like what he did was unheard of. What? Yeah, what he did what was he did unheard of. Like saying like Babe Ruth. Babe mm -hmm. Ruth would suck right now. In or or not Gretzky, right. or Patty Wah. He's I'm sure he's great, but he probably suck right now because people are shooting hundred miles per hour. Yeah, it's, it's like true. 60. You know no, what it's I mean? true. Mike yeah. Richter probably it's would true. suck today too. It's yeah, true. that's what I'm saying. You but know, it, it, even it Gretzky, Gretzky might even suck the today. Time, you don't know. Yeah, Sean people Michael, even say that Gretzky wouldn't have been able to hang with today's players. I personally, yeah. I mean, come on, he's fucking yeah, Wayne he's Gretzky. Gretzky. Yeah, have some respect. But Sean Michaels at the time was the best wrestler. Yeah, absolutely. Easy. Yeah, but he could still hang with anybody. He could still hang with Today, anybody. Today, he can hang with literally anybody. But you're right now because it's so, like, an evolution. Like, evolution happened, and now, obviously, he's not. Right. Because but, other people are better. But, but at the same time, to... but at the same time, it's when Shawn Michaels did it, it wasn't about just the, his moveset. It was about... The show. The, show. the show. It wasn't about wrestling Not even just all. about the show. It was about the showmanship. Yeah, yeah. showmanship. Yeah. He was a showman. <laughs> like, people... He I was a fucking performer, at, man. Like, like, you don't get guys like that. You got yeah. guys that... Sure, anybody could... Any professional wrestler who has done their homework and knows their shit can put on a spot fest. Yeah. Anyone exactly. can do it. Like Ricochet and all them. Right, yeah. yeah anybody can do that. Anybody can just call spots. The entire Cruiserweight Classic fucking tournament was a giant spot, spot fest. fest. Yeah. yeah. All was back, it entertaining? Absolutely. Over each other, yeah, it was like... 100% entertaining. But... They, it, those matches told no stories. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels told stories. In that's the what ring. wrestling's supposed to be about. He yeah. taught in the ring. Yeah. He, yeah. So I that's why. That's why I love AJ Styles because yeah. I think AJ Styles is cut from that yes. cloth, which is why I actually want to see yeah. that match. He's, he literally, he he's a rib off of Shawn Michaels. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But and that's what oh, the, almost all the Bullet Club are. People literally say all yeah. of them. people say that Shawn Michaels. Like, if you saw this guy wrestle, it was, like, an unheard of thing. Like, yeah. Edge says it, and all other wrestlers say, like, mm. Sean, sh your favorite wrestler. If you ask any wrestler right now that's in their 30s or 40s... Who's your favorite wrestler? Sean Michaels. Sean Michaels, across Easy, the board. 100%. Across Easy. the board. Not even question. Look at the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks literally based they their entire... They are They're the Rockers. Yeah, they're they are literally the Rockers. Yeah. and Sean <coughs> Michaels. Yeah. what they are. The Young Bucks <coughs> are yeah. the Rockers, which is right. why I love them. 
Right. But anyway, so... And I just watched a Montreal screw job today, which is Did interesting. You? Yeah. I, oh, it's, uh, it's crazy. so crazy. It's, crazy. it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's, it's awesome. That, no. No, I don't think I it's I love the great balls. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that, that thing. Balls. Is it's the greatest a, work in history. It's such a touchy subject. It's the greatest yeah. work in history. And I was just listening to Jericho's <laughs> podcast with The Anvil, uh, Natty's dad, mm-hmm. Jim, and TJ, Tyson Kid, and The Anvil saying like how crazy that actually was at that time. And... Like, just listening to what happened backstage afterwards yep. and in the ring and what Sean mm-hmm. was saying. Because you could see Sean walking out. He's like, wait, what just happened? And he's, yeah. like, looking at Vince. He's like, what'd you do? Yo, mm-hmm. if you, just, have you watched it in, like, recently? The actual... The Montreal no. Screwjob. No, 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 Watch it. Like, the actual this. clip of it? No, I haven't watch watched it. In, watch like, it. It's in, really awkward. It and, yeah, if it was a work, which it's not a work because Brett is still salty about it. It's, no, it's definitely not a work. It's not a work. Just Unless it's the best work of all time. Well, unless it's a, yeah. unless best it is, work ever. Unless it is, I will go on record and say unless that's the Bret Hart best work has ever. literally been salty for it, been working this yeah, for ten years. This, yeah. Like, yeah. there's no way we're yeah, more than more, that. Way, yeah, more, way than more than that. Survivor Series of like yeah. I think best 97, work ever. 97. Um, um, but and then that fucking when he when Shawn Michaels was like, all right, Brett, come out here, and they play his music, and he's like, gotcha, he's not here. It's like, whoa, yeah. Shawn Michaels. I think that probably would have been. I think that might go down in history of all time as the biggest heel heat ever. Is like uh, in a single moment. Yeah. Like the biggest pop of like booze. Right. right? That's completely contradicting that, each other. But he had to be like rushed out of the arena. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he was, that he was, was probably gonna like die. Mm-hmm. One thing. Do we have, do I have time to like bring up one little subject here? It doesn't even matter. Just go. Okay. So. This is bad booking. We're over an hour and twenty minutes. So. Oh really? Yeah. Just right, go. It doesn't. Yeah. No. At this point, just go. Yeah. All right. Matter. So. This is really bad booking. I saw this off something, and I looked into it, and this guy was very right. So whoever it was, I'm taking this completely off you. This is none of my idea at all. So you saw that they're building up, they're building Lesnar as the, wait. They're building Goldberg as the face and Lesnar at the heel. Yes. As the heel, Mm -hmm. right? So Goldberg was the guy to end Bret Hart's career, and they're fighting in Toronto. Okay. So everybody in Toronto hates Goldberg. Wait, Survivor Series is in Toronto? Yes. I didn't know that, actually. In Toronto. Okay. So they're like they're literally going to go nuts, and they're going to hate mm-hmm. Goldberg. So why would you build up Goldberg as a face and Lesnar as a heel? Just bring them up as both faces and let the crowd react, whatever yep. like they usually do with Lesnar. And they pick who they want as their heel. Yeah, so Goldberg was the man to end Bret Hart's career. <coughs> And they're going to Toronto, which is a Canadian, um, obviously. Well, yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. And they're going to hate Goldberg. Oh, so, they're going to fucking hate, despise. So them. I didn't even think about that. And I'm like, holy shit, this could be really bad. This I could didn't be think a, about that either. I didn't think about it. And this guy brought up a sick point, and I'm scared now for Goldberg. Yeah. Because these Canadians are going to freak the fuck out. I think Goldberg also, can handle himself. <laughs> also, it's going to be the coolest thing ever for Jericho and Kale. Oh, 100%. That pop. Oh, gonna my God. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. It nuts. Is, oh I cannot God. wait for that. And it's Canada gonna be fucking is insane, a crazy dude. place. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's going to be really, really cool to see. All and right, I man. hope... Oh, one other thing. Yeah. I want t- uh, Tyson to get to come back really badly. That'd be sick. Yeah. That'd actually be awesome. Yeah, especially like if Cesaro turns on... Or Sheamus turns on Cesaro mm-hmm. and Tyson Kidd comes out in that'd Toronto. Be awesome, it, yo, that'd be so cause awesome. Because he was saying that he was healthy on the podcast. So. Oh, really? You yep. never know. You never know. So... Um, Next piece of news: TNA not going out of business. I know they're Thank they're going God. for they're actually having like auditions, right? I don't know exactly what's going on. Yeah. I read the story; it's way too confusing. There's so many fucking weird shit, but I'm glad that they're not. I'm glad that they're not going out of business because TNA going out of business is bad for business for yeah. everyone. Hundred percent. Yeah. Next one. Um, this is what we were talking about before. Bringing up this point about Raw being recorded instead yeah. of live. Go on YouTube and type and look up Bailey, uh, Bailey Chance in uh, Glasgow, Scotland, right. from from this Raw, and Charlotte could not talk. Yeah, she was. There was startled. it was about it was literally like a seven minute segment of people just going, "Hey, yeah. Bailey!" And she literally. was startled. And Charlotte, like, you guys are being rude. I, yeah. She played it off good though. She yeah. was like, "All right, guys, enough now. Come on, like, let's, let's yeah. stop." But she played it off good. But they cut that out of Raw. Yeah. When she kept, she, and this was when she was trying to announce Dana Brooke. Right. And I'm sure Bailey must have had chill. I had chills watching the YouTube video. If I was Bailey in that ring, 
there I would have been able to control myself. Like there, the Maybe that's of, why they put I'm it getting. Over. I'm literally look. Look at the hair on my arm. My hair is actually standing up right now, thinking about it. Yeah. I'm not joking. Like it's it's actually crazy. It was nuts how much they fucking loved her, and I love that because I I'm in love with Bailey. Right. I love her. Um. And it's fucking annoying that they cut that shit out. Yeah. It's real annoying. Yeah, I hate it. it. Is. That's Next, why I didn't like that it was recorded. Yeah. Like, I, there's nothing else they could possibly do. Yo, my do. hair is still actually standing up. Like, it's, it's crazy. It's just thinking about that. There's literally nothing else they could possibly do. Um, next one, Rhino running for office in Michigan. Didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> Therefore, I don't know if he's a part-timer anymore. Like, he might yeah. actually, like, still be in it because he didn't win. Because yeah. that's why he was a part-timer. Yeah. Because he was running for he's office. He's actually running for office, which is hilarious. <clears throat> next piece of news. Vader got in a car accident, a really bad one apparently. I heard about that, yeah. He's a, but he's okay, yeah, apparently, not too which is very good. Very good. Um, you don't want to see that. We already brought up the Sin Cara backstage thing, uh, so that's whatever. He's going for anger management classes. Yeah. Ugh, like, that's just fucking stupid. It's you just, just boys. don't fuck with the goat. <clears throat> it's true. Goat. It's boys being boys. Yeah. And the last piece of news, which is one of my favorite pieces of news. Nine, we're this past SmackDown, 899th episode. Next Tuesday, 900th episode oh. of SmackDown. We have The Undertaker returning on SmackDown. Wow. And we have Edge doing an in ring segment called The Cutting Edge. And I fucking love this is everything be about bananas. this. Because I fucking love Edge and everyone loves The Undertaker. And I don't know why The Undertaker's coming out, hopefully, to announce his one last match at WrestleMania. Or no, how would. Hopefully he's just doing this. Kane comes out, interrupts the Undertaker. Yeah. They start fighting in the ring. They both try and choke slam each other. The Undertaker goes over on Kane, obviously, because that's what would happen. Yeah. And then their last match, we've been saying for the past three podcasts in a row, and I'm gonna bring it up again. WrestleMania, Kane versus the Undertaker would be bananas. Double retirement. Yes. Buried alive match. No. Double buried alive. Will never happen. <laughs> Will never happen. Will never happen. You have a better chance of seeing an Inferno match. Yes. <laughs> Which, Vince, Vince God, gonna... bring that match back, please. For the love of God. He's but just going to throw the darts and it's going to be Cena. Which sucks. It's going to be Cena. That... No, it doesn't suck. You know why? Legends That's retire passion. legends. Yes, right. But if Kane's Kane not, but if Kane, Kane, it, Kane's not a legend. legend. Kane's not a legend. Kane, Kane is not Kane legend. is not a legend. Kane is a the reason first why Kane... Hall of Famer. No, no, no. The reason why... He, I mean... Yeah. Is there really ballots in the WWE Hall no, of Fame? No, but still. But he is. But, he can is I just say, can I just say, I, I've waited a long time to say this. Not yeah. that I'm happy about it. Not that I even really give a shit. But the next president of the United States is WWE Hall of Famer. Yeah, that's crazy. He's the first WWE Hall of Fame president, president yeah. of all true. time. That's very true. Yeah. Well, the, was the, the future to president yeah. of the United States has been stone cold stunnered. That's great. Yeah, that's that great. Is great. That the is future great. president of the United States have sh- has shaved Vince, Vince McMahon's head. head. Yeah, it is great. While Stone Cold held him down. And it he is. sold that stunner real bad. Real, <laughs> real bad. So did Vince McMahon. <laughs> Vince actually The first tried. ever stunner was... The first ever stunner was awful. When yeah. he used to fucking come out and his it little was black awful. button down with Raw, like, the yeah. logo. just on Awful. The side. Yeah. Anyway, awful. guys... That was an extremely long episode of Shoots and Ladders. I said we probably weren't going to go long, but we went real oh, fucking yeah, long. Yeah. So I do apologize for that, but uh, I hope it you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you, Rob, for coming out. Of course. Yeah. It was fun. Hopefully you'll be back soon, because honestly, I had a great time. I like ranting. Hell yeah. And that's I'm glad I to do. do it anytime. I do, I do it a bunch. <laughs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> we are uh, Dirty Laundry. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, leave us feedback. Tell us like what we're doing wrong, what we're doing good. Leave us your opinions on both Raw Smackdown and the news, and tell me how much you love Bailey. Because I fucking love Bailey. Thanks, guys. (laughs) Have a good night. Later.